And now, Boating Basics with Mark Kimura from the Honolulu Community College. How's it, gang? This is Mark Kimura from Honolulu Community College's Marine Education and Training Center, Small Vessel Fabrication and Repair Program. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about plugs. How can you tell if they're good, brand new, or got some hours on them? Well, the first thing I look for in a worn out plug, I don't know if you can see this, I can barely see this, is that the prong that comes over the top on the brown one, it's got a hollow spot. And the very center electrode is starting to round over and it's not hard, crisp corners anymore. That's the sign of a plug starting to wear out. These are identical plugs for the most part. This one has been about 50 hours in a two-stroke motor. So it's a little sooty, dark. It's got oil deposits on it. That's not the problem with this plug. It's showing about 50 hours of wear because the electrode is starting to wear on the top and the center is starting to round over. And the other thing that is starting to become a problem is the gap is starting to increase. It is supposed to have been about 30 thousandths, which is way over here. So once it starts to increase, it starts to put stress and strain on the electrical ignition system. And it does create a problem where it can start um, straining the power pack, especially because it, the way it's designed. And that's one of the major reasons I feel that power packs will pop or blow is because they're running old plugs way over the time they need to be changed and it's causing that. Uh, I'll tell you right now, on this older two-stroke of mine, about every 100 hours the plugs need to be changed besides obvious corrosion reasons, but that's about the life expectancy on the older ones. Uh, the newer ones will probably double, maybe even triple that, especially on the four-strokes. Their uh, plug expectancy is a lot better. The uh, motors burn a lot cleaner, so we don't have a lot of erosion and everything else going on. So uh, it'd be a good idea to try to get on a regular maintenance and check for some of these things. This is a very simple gapper. And for my older 15 uh, outboard, it's 30 thousandths. So all you got to do is slide it to about 30 thousandths, and that plug is considered gapped. So it's a matter of just getting it in. See, this one's a little short. So you sit down and just wiggle it over to about 30, and that's about it. Okay? Straightforward, pretty easy. The only thing I'm gonna recommend is when you go and change plugs, a lot of the outboards are in aluminum heads. So please start everything hand tight, fingers first, because if you go at it with a wrench, and you strip that plug, uh, <laughs> that is not a good thing, and you will regret it very much so, okay? Alrighty, gang. So this is Mark Kimura from Honolulu Community Colleges. Aloha, gang. Next on Hawaii Goes Fishing, Captain Chuck Wilson hunts down something a bit more challenging for Bruce.